Hello, I, hello, I, hello. <laughs> I am going to be doing a reading for you guys today for the zodiac sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury, North Node, those guided to this reading today. Maybe there is a message in this reading for you. Now, remember, time is fluid. This can have already taken place in the past. This could be something that is taking place currently for you, or this could be something that is pending in the future. Also, please keep in mind that masculine feminine energies can be both female and male archetypes within us. We carry masculine and feminine energy inside of our DNA coding. It's just a matter of whatever we are vibrating on at that time. So please keep that in mind. So if I'm calling out masculine energy or feminine energy, please know that I am not referring to a specific sex. I'm just referring to the archetype that is relevant and stronger in the reading. So please keep that in mind. So Cancer, today we are going to find out what is going on behind the scenes that you're not aware of that is coming in for you, Cancer. What are the things taking place behind the scenes for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury, North Node at this time that they are unaware of that is going to be a course corrector for their journey at this time? Spirit, what are the messages that we have for our, be for our beloved Cancers at this time? I just said beloved, beloved in the building here. Here we go. Already tapping into that feminine masculine energy here, some divine energies. So we'll see what happens there. We'll see if anything comes through. So we're going to start out this reading today with the Golden Girls Tarot cards. I just feel like in tribute to Betty White that these were the perfect cards to read for the beginning of the year. I know we're almost into the middle of, you know, January now, but still the beginning of the year. Still got a long ways to go, right? 11 more months. What is going on for cancer behind the scenes that they are unaware of that is going to be a course correction for them for their path? This is divine intervention. What is going on for cancer pertaining to divine intervention? What is taking place for cancer behind the scenes that they are unaware of at this time? Spirit, please show us what you would like cancer to know at this time, at this time pertaining to energies taking place behind the scenes for our cancer, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Mercury, North Node, those guided to this reading. Clear the energy. Thank you. I'm seeing a lot of purples and greens. Cancer, you're getting some insights, psychic insights. Something is being illuminated in your, your pineal gland, your third eyes. There's something being cracked open. And I feel like it's something that's pertaining to your heart, to your heart chakra. There is something. You're shifting your perspective, Cancer, and it's cracking open your heart. You might be feeling emotional at this time. There might be an emotional um, imbalance at this time pertaining to something that has to do with the mind. I'm hearing cloaked. Somebody is cloaked. Somebody has cloaked themselves. Somebody is cloaking someone else. Please take it how it resonates. At the bottom of the deck, we have the page of cups. So this is an um this is a very emotional, um, immature emotional energy here. Sorry, I don't know why that's not. There we go. So we have the page of cups at the bottom of the deck. We're just gonna go one more underneath that. So we have the lovers in reverse. So somebody is not seeing things clearly, and it could have something to do with a love connection here. There is a tower in reverse, something. There's a cycle that is needing to be closed out that has not been being closed. Somebody has not been seeing things from a clear perspective. And then we have the nine of pentacles in reverse. This has been blocking your blessings, okay? Whatever this is, this cloak, it's been blocking your blessings, and it's pertaining to an immature um, emotional offer, an immature offer pertaining to the heart in, 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 and I think that's why you're cloaked and you're not seeing clearly. There could be a yo-yo energy here where it's just like a, 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 a give and then I pull back. I give and then I pull back. So cancer, let us see what is going on. So we have the first card up here. We have the world in reverse here. So somebody is getting karma. Somebody is getting their karma or somebody feels like they are getting their karma for making a choice. Maybe it's because somebody's not seeing clearly somebody. I just heard somebody wants your world to stop. 
please take it how it applies. Three of Swords, it's pertaining to a love situation. It's pertaining to matters that are associated to the heart. This is heartbreak, okay? This has got something to do with that emotional, emotional, immature offer that is coming through here. You see, it, you could be dealing with a Pisces here um, because I take note here with this whole um, page of cups in which she's holding that cup as a fish, all right? That's all she's got is a fish in that cup, and she's happy about that fish, but honestly, I think it's because she hasn't shifted her perspective. She's blind. She's blind to this immature, emotional offer that is being given to her at this time. I feel like I could be talking to a feminine energy here. You do not need to be male or female to be a feminine or a masculine, like I said at the beginning of this. So we have here, like I said, we have that three of swords here coming in, right? That's that heartbreak. That's animosity. That's, that's turmoil. That is somebody really going through it. You know, and it's interesting because she's wearing a purple sweater and then you've got that heart with three swords in it on her chest. And she's just, she's feeling cloudy. Like, you know, you see a cloud over the one heart or, or the, over the one sword there. Somebody's clouding your judgment, Cancer. Somebody wants your judgment to feel clouded pertaining to an emotional offer. Somebody does not want you to see the truth in the matter of the situation cloaked see she's dressed in purple she's cloaked there's a need for you cancer to ground your energy okay you need to ground your energy with this situation and then here we have a rejection okay this is a cup of love an emotional offer not coming through somebody was waiting for an emotional offer to come through and it didn't and it, it fell through somebody took too long Somebody, somebody sat in their head too long on the situation and it's almost like they let, they, they let the best thing that ever happened to them get away. I'm also getting here a major disappointment, Cancer. Something that you thought was going to be your world, something that you thought was going to work in your favor, turned out to be a bust. This is the current energy you're residing in. And it's got everything to do with this immature emotional offer that came through. It was a bust, okay? That's why the lovers is in reverse. This is a bust. So this has got to do with matters of the heart. This has got to do with a connection. This is a love connection. I really didn't want to get into these love connections. I hate getting into these, but you know what? It's here now. So let's get into the challenge of the situation here. We have the Knight of Swords coming in with the Knight of Swords, okay? This is somebody that's barreling through, not really thinking before they take that leap, but they, they're they jumping. They wanna take a leap. This person wants to come in and communicate. This person wants to come in and communicate based upon what they lost, okay? They're taking their emotional loss right now. They're feeling unfulfilled pertaining to this emotional, um, this, this, Sorry, I'm having a brain fart. Cancer, there's that cloak. Somebody does not want me to get this information out to you. Now, remember, this is going on behind the scenes. You're not aware of what is going on here. Somebody feels like they failed. Somebody feels like they failed you emotionally. Somebody feels like they've broken your heart. This person wants to come in and fix things. This is their challenge. They don't know how to come in. They're in their head about how they're going to come in to fix this. They want to come in. There's that night, you know, it's like, a, it's like somebody thinks that they can play hero in a situation. I feel they want to be a knight, speak their truth. So we have the nine of wands as a challenge here. So whoever this is, you see that mind? Look at this right here. Holding on to that, holding on to that wand there. Just, it's like she's holding herself up. She's been battered and bruised. This person has been mentally manipulating you, Cancer. This person feels like they've been maybe mentally manipulated into a situation that caused them karma, okay? It also caused them third-party interference, caused them animosity, heartache, somebody that is trying to persevere through something that is emotional chaos, emotional turmoil, pertaining to an emotional offer. This emotional offer was, was a bust. It was, it was literally a setup. It was almost like a muse, like somebody's, somebody doesn't want you to be emotionally fulfilled. They want to keep you stuck. They want you to stay in this place of suffering. 
Cancer, this is you. You're suffering right now. This is your challenge. You're trying to you're trying to shift your perspective and get out of your head on a situation. You feel like you've been cloaked, blocked. The only thing that's keeping you standing is your passion for life and living. This person. Oh, Cancer. This person wants to come in and speak their truth. They know that you've been pained. They know. They know what they've done. They this, this person knows how much they hurt you. They physically see the pain that they've caused within you, Cancer, because you carry it. You're showing it. You might be distancing yourself from this person. You might not even be in communication with this person. You may have this person blocked. And then we have the Eight of Wands in reverse. There's, that, there's the confirmation. This is blocked communication. This is the challenge. This person wants to come in. They are wounded. They see you wounded, but they can't even communicate this to you. Okay? This person can't even communicate this to you right now. Somebody feels emotionally trapped and stuck in their head in a situation and it's got them so battered and bruised that they don't even feel like they have that passion for life anymore. Cancer, you might be feeling depressed. You might be feeling a little anxious under the weather. You might be feeling like you're dragging both feet. With the action here, we have that three of pentacles in reverse here. There is no more teamwork in this situation, Cancer. You're being called to step away from this and move in another direction. This isn't serving your highest good. That teamwork makes the dream work was just an illusion. This person has ulterior motives for you, Cancer. And that's why their ships aren't coming in. Cancer, you might be in your head about a situation which is keeping you stuck, which is preventing you from actually accumulating what is meant for you. Ten of Wands, you feel like you're carrying the weight of the world. You're going to need to cut this out, this teamwork. You're going to have to take this on yourself. Cancer, is, Cancer Spirit is saying to you right now that you're going to have to do this solo. You're going to have to take a solo deep dive. With that Ten of Wands and that Three of Pentacles in reverse, you feel like you have been doing this all on your own already. Spirit is saying that you can do this, okay? It might feel heavy right now, but I promise you that once you actually cut the cords to whatever this is, whoever this is with you, whatever this means to you, you're going to know. When you cut the cords with this, it's going to get you out of that bitter energy. You were, you have been this person, Cancer. This is you. That queen of that queen of swords energy. This is a no nonsense queen. She will cut out everything in her path. If it shows any kind of deception towards her, if it lies to her, she will already know it and she will cut it the moment she sees that it's a lie. When she sees there is deception in her environment, she cuts it out. She will speak her truth. Her words are cutting and she doesn't care how deep they cut. She is willing to go the distance to wound others who wound her. Cancer. It showed up in reverse. You're coming out of this, okay? I feel like what you're going to do, Cancer is you're going to take this, you're going to take this rejection, you're going to take this fall, you're going to take this, you're just going to take this and go. You're going to take this and go. You're no longer going to fight. You're no longer going to speak up on this. You're done. You're done doing that. You no longer want to be in this place where you're in this cutting energy where you just want to cut everything down. You're sick of cutting. You're alone. You feel alone. You feel like you've done nothing but cut. You've done nothing but stand passionately in what you believe and fight for what you believe. And spirit is saying you need to take your pride and just walk away with this, you know, count your blessings. Spirit wants you to count your blessings on this. Remember, spirit's rejection is your or your protection. So if you're being rejected by somebody right now, there is a good indication that there is a very good reason why. And this is for you, for your protection, okay? This is so that you can get ahead. Cancer, I feel like what you're doing right now, <coughs> excuse me, this is truth. You're healing, okay? 
you're healing. You feel stagnant. You feel blocked. You feel like everything that you have worked so hard for, okay? This is your wands. These are, this is that bag of wands. You've been carrying this around for too freaking long, Cancer. And it's pertaining to teamwork. It's pertaining to this collaboration, this teamwork. You could be, this could be a business partner. This could be somebody that you're working with. This could be somebody that you needed to collaborate with. The only thing that was keeping you standing was your passion for doing this. That was literally the only thing that kept you standing was your passionate drive to do this, right? You felt like the only thing that was keeping you move, moving forward was how strong you felt in your heart with doing whatever you're doing. Whatever this is, Somebody was jealous of the situation. Somebody wasn't passionate like you thought they were. This person was not passionate in any way. In any way. This person, remember, this is going on behind the scenes. This is divine intervention, okay? Right, Cancer? This person seen you as an option. And because they saw you as an option, they decided to turn their back on you and pour their cup into something else. Whatever they're pouring their cup into, it's going to become a disappointment and it's going to weigh really heavy on them. This is going to, this is regret. This is what this is. This is regret. Cancer, this person, I'm just picking this up now. This person may have been the queen of swords in the past to you. This person is, this person is ready to compromise and do things the right way. You know, you need to look at this differently. There might be some co-parenting. Somebody did not have your best interests at heart, Cancer. This hurts. This person didn't recognize your worth until it was too late. The outcome, yeah. The outcome is that seven of swords in reverse. This person that's been deceptive and stuff, like I said, there's that regret, right? This is the outcome. This person's ready to speak pertaining to this deception. What their plans were, they've all backfired. This person's plans have all backfired. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You could also be dealing with a Pisces. Heavy emphasis on the fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy here. Just take it how it applies. You could have any of these placements in your charts. And we have the Four of Cups in reverse. Yeah. This person's ready to come out of the cold and talk to you about the things that they've done to you behind your back, Cancer. This person was being deceptive behind your back. This person did not have your best interests at heart. They didn't care about your heart. They didn't care what it did to you. And they didn't care how damaged you were. They didn't care that this literally almost freaking killed you. Okay? This person left you to rot. They sat there and they watched as you suffered cancer and they left you to rot. They wanted you to fall. They did not care about you, your heart, or the things that you worked so hard for. They didn't care. They just watched. They just watched. They saw this as a challenge. It was like, it was like a game to them. This was amusing to them. They saw this as a freaking challenge, cancer. They didn't want to communicate to you. They just wanted to sit there and watch and continue to put these shitty thoughts in your head. Whoever this is was sending you the evil eye. Whoever this was did not have your best interests at heart. I'm getting con artist energy here. Somebody that's manipulative as hell. Somebody that has very poor intentions. This outcome coming in with the seven of swords in reverse with that four of cups in reverse. This person's bored. This person is freaking bored. And that's the only reason why they want to come in. Their other options fell through. 
So now they want to come in and communicate with you. Finally, right? Cancer, this is about your worth. You've been bruised and beaten and broken down already. This is your challenging position. This is you right now. You are a wounded warrior right now, Cancer. But you know what? They're going to get your karma. The wheel is going to work in your favor, okay? The wheel is going to work in your favor. This is upright, Cancer. I feel like this is karma. That world in reverse, this person's world stopped when you walked out of their life. When you stopped communication with them, when you decided to pull your energy back from this individual, that's exactly what this, you, you pulled your energy back from this individual. Okay, that's what this is. Or this individual pulled their energy back from you. Take it however it applies. But this person saw you as their world. And when you walked out on them or you left or you decided to stop giving so much of your love to them or energy to them, they found it somewhere else, first of all. And whatever they found, it wasn't something emotional, okay? This person was in their head. And they were going for the wands. That wand bit them. That wand bit this person. Um, I feel like I could be talking to a male right now. Or female, take it how it applies. You could be in a male-male relationship, female-male relationship, whatever. Not my business. Somebody's wand. Somebody's wand. Somebody's wand feels like it's feeling like it's it's got cuts on it burning that's the reason why the teamwork failed and that person's carrying all of those all of those ones now they're regretful of all of those third party interferences that were emotionless this person has been humbled the hard way they learned very hard lessons Somebody could have an incurable STD. That's been going around a while. That's their karma. Because they decided, you know, because at one point, these were upright, right? This person was deceptive because they were bored. And they ended up getting their wand pained. Yikes. And that was their karma. That was their karma. So spirit is rejecting this for you behind the scenes. You might be in confusion as to what's going on right now, Cancer. This is a blessing in disguise, like I said at the beginning of this reading, Cancer. This is a blessing in disguise. You need to just take this and keep moving forward, okay? Um, oh, what should we do here? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's use my Island Time to this deck here. Let's get some clarifiers for the world. The Three of Swords and the Ace of Cups in Reverse, please. The world in Reverse, Ace of Cups in Reverse, and the Three of Swords, Spirit for Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury, North Node. Can we get some clarifiers, please? Thank you. Thank you. All right. There it is. There's your confirmation. Stabbed in the back. Okay? Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. Okay? This is to that deception. There it is. When you left, they deceived themselves. They were in their head. They were heartbroken over this, or maybe you were. Regardless of the situation, somebody has stabbed you in the back, Cancer. Somebody did not have your best interests at heart, and they were going out and meeting with other people. Yeah, coffee cup. 
Meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, and feeling uplifted friendships. Okay, this could be pertaining to a friendship or they claim was a friend to them. I'm going to go and meet up with my friend. So if, if you've got somebody in your environment that has been saying, oh, I'm going to go meet up with this person, that person, blah, 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 and they randomly take off, and you feel a little bit off about it, you know something doesn't feel right or sit right with you, follow that. Follow that. Spirit's giving you some insight here that you're going to need to be aware of because you do not need this to fall onto you, right? Remember, we have the wheel at the end here. Like I said, though, I did pick up here that Spirit said that this, is, this rejection is for your protection. So you could be rejecting this person or this person could be rejecting you. Take it however it applies. But regardless, at the end of the day, the Wheel of Fortune is going to work in your favor, Cancer, okay? So let's get some clarifiers here for the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Wands, and the Eight of Wands in reverse, please. Clarify that. Cancer, one more, please. Can I get another card, please? Thank you. Do you have anything else? What else, Spirit? Is there anything else? Wow, okay. Quite a bit to talk about there, okay. So first card up we hear, yeah, Hand of Cards. Take a chance, risk, being strategic options, not showing hand in a gambling options okay this person had so many options that they were willing to take some risks and gamble they stabbed you in the back right they came in passionately at somebody and it wasn't you remember like i said somebody here has picked up an incurable std somebody's pp -pee feels like it's being cut sunglasses watching looking stalking gaslighting perception focusing out is this person gaslighting you if this person has been gaslighting you it's a very good indication that that is the person that we're talking about in this reading for you cancer whoever has been gaslighting you they've been watching you they've been keeping a close eye on you to see if you're going to catch them all right they know that you know the person I'm talking to, you could be very intuitive. Cancers are naturally intuitive zodiacs, okay? And if you have cancer placements in your charts, anywhere in your charts, chances are you have a natural intuitive gift and power about you where you follow your gut instincts and they're always on. They're always on point, okay? This person knows that. This person has witnessed this within you and they're hoping that they're not going to get caught because they've already taken action on this situation. This person might be love bombing you person has addictions okay codependent obsession possession controlling has a block and a restraint okay this person has sex addictions this person has massive sex sex addiction i can't even freaking speak this person is holding their tongue right now this person has your name rolling off their tongue and it's not nice words okay this person is sending shit to you they want you to fall so they don't get caught their narrative is going to be completely annexed the moment that everybody sees your authentic or your authenticity, your truth. When you start speaking up your truth, it's really, really, really going to nag them in the butt because it's going to prove how deceptive they truly are, right? They're addicted. They may come across as this wonderful individual that will help everybody and anybody. They may come across as this individual that is just very passionate about life, you know, driven, motivated. But this individual, this individual, <coughs> this, this individual is running from commitment. This person is scared. This person has commitment issues. And because they have commitment issues, they have sex addictions. Because they have sex addictions, they're going out and sleeping with everybody. And they're about to get caught up with something that they cannot get rid of because of those addictions. And you are about to find out about it. These are things that are going on behind the scenes, Cancer, that you have no awareness of. And it's a good thing, too, because this, this is going to hurt like a bitch when you find out. I'm sorry. But you know what? Like I said, this rejection is for your protection, okay? They take this as a blessing in disguise, like I said. Can I get clarifiers for the Three of Pentacles in reverse, Ten of Wands, and the Queen of Swords in reverse? For cancer, thank you. Is there anything else? Yep. Somebody wants to come in and say they're sorry. I'm so sorry that I put my PP in something else and now it burns. On another note... Somebody's ready to do the teamwork with you. Somebody wants to say that they care. Somebody has been keeping their mouth shut on a situation. And because they've been keeping their mouth shut on a situation, they've been going through the ringer. And now they're realizing 
the epiphany lightning hello huge wake-up call for them that they need to speak their truth that they want this to come closed if they want to close this cycle out they need to speak up that is the only way that this is going to close out otherwise that wheel of fortune for them is going to be upside down and they're going to continue getting nasty karma so they know what they need to do this is their action their action they're going to come in and they're going to say look I'm sorry that I haven't been willing to put in the teamwork. You could be dealing with a Tory, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo energy here. I'm sorry that I have not been doing the teamwork with you. I do care about you. I do want to see us move forward with this. This person is going to love bomb you. They're going to be very flirty with you. This person is having this shocking epiphany pertaining to this transformation. They're having a change of heart suddenly. Yeah. Yeah. They see this passion. They're attracted to you. They're attracted to your passion. They're attracted to your heart. Okay? This person has been looking at your photos and missing you. Nostalgia. Making new memories. This person has been stalking you. They've been watching you and reminiscing. They have nostalgia. They want to come in and speak. They feel completely heavy over their choices. They are in regret. Deep regret. In denial even. Clear the energy, please, Spirit. Thank you. Can I get some clarifiers for the Seven of Swords in reverse, Four of Cups in reverse, and the Wheel of Fortune upright, please, for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury, North Node, please, Spirit. Thank you for this reading. Thank you for giving us this information today. Cancer, what is the outcome? Whoa, whoa, whoa. that's a lot of cards. I'll take them all, whatever. First card up here we have... The hammer, sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, and working on it. This person is being very persistent with wanting to come through and wanting to correct this with you, okay? But this person is self-sabotaging. This person is not in good energy. This person wants to use your energy, okay? They have been in separation, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, and unsure of the future because of the separation that's coming through. They want to tell you how much they miss you and how much they care and how much they're regretful of walking away and not offering their cup to you and seeing you as an option, blah, 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 everything else under the moon. This person just wants to come in and try and, com yeah. <laughs> Keep a positive mindset, manifest exactly what you want, gratitude and bliss. This person sees abundance with you. This person sees what you're doing. They didn't see your worth until it was too late. Like I said at the beginning of this reading, now they want to come in and communicate. Now they want to come in with this fresh start. But guess what? They have outdated thinking. They're not thinking clearly on this, okay? Conditioning, replaying events over in your head, outdated thinking. That's that cassette tape, okay? This is old programming, old thoughts, old paradigm, old energy, okay? The sword and the rose here, all right? Clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, and power. You are protected by spirit. You will not let this happen. One second. Okay, so we are going to close this reading out with the Divine Energy Oracle. What does spirit want for you to close this reading out? Speak up. Live life to its fullest and speak your truth. What else, spirit? Two more cards here. Say no and make a plan. 